Hey guys, I've been locked up in the garage for the past couple of weeks. The weather's been pretty cold and rainy here in Austin, so I haven't been out in the field much. But with that being said, I've received numerous comments and questions about to getting your Tyrannus model files, being able to export and import them. And those are actually known as bin files. So I'm going to demonstrate how to save them to your SD card as well as be able to share them with others for them to be able to load those models onto the transmitter. And there are a couple ways of doing this. I'm going to demonstrate what is a tried and true method from my perspective. I guess you could refer to it as an old school way, but we will save bin files to our SD card as well as load them on there and restore them. So what I'll do is I'll move to the model that I want to basically back up. This is the QAV500 NASA model. I did a video on this guy. It has a lot of capabilities with flight modes and IOC. So let's go ahead and back this one up. I'm going to hit and hold enter and I'll just hit backup model and then we're done. And just for a little added effect, I'll go ahead and delete that model, the QAV500 NASA. Select it again. We'll delete model. I'll hit enter to confirm and you can see now that our model 14 slot is empty. We'll turn off the Tyrannus, I'll flip it over and what I'll go ahead and do is just open this up, move the battery over, go ahead and click on the micro SD card. It'll slide out, just pull that out. Now some of you may actually be able to support a micro SD card with your computer. I have to use this SD card adapter. So I'll go ahead and put it in there and then slide it into my port. And you'll see that this should show up as a drive on your computer. Mine is just called No Name, so I'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see a list of folders. The main one that we're concerned with is the Models folder. Click on that, that's the QAV500 NASA bin file. Now, when I selected that on my Tyrannus and did backup model, it actually wrote this bin file to the SD card. So that's how you back up. Now let's say that you wanted to basically receive a bin file from someone. You would be able to do that. In this case, this is the same QAV500 NASA file that I've uploaded to Dropbox. I did that video and shared it for you guys to be able to download and put on your Tyrannus. So this would be something you download and then you copy into your models folder on your SD card. Then we'll go ahead and just eject that. After ejecting, I'll pull it out, get our micro SD, put the card back into the Tyrannus. Make sure you push it and you hear that click. Battery cover back on. Now our Tyrannus is powered up. We're back at our menu. I'll just go down here, let's say to slot 17. I'll press and long hold enter. Hit restore model. You can see that QAV500 NASA. Select it. Now we'll go in and just verify our settings. So we'll go to page six. You can see these are all the channels and flight modes that I had set up before, as well as the IOC stuff. So this Free Sky Tyrannus with OpenTX makes that super simple to do. It's pretty cool now that we can share model files with each other. Hope you guys found that useful with the numerous questions. I figured it was time to do a video. And just a heads up, as the weather clears up, we're going to be finishing up with the QAV500 and Pixhawk doing tuning, a lot of autonomous stuff, as well as getting the Pixhawk and the Juggernaut doing some autonomous aerial missions with CHDK and the Canon camera. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.